No dominant force yet emerging. Three separate event winners, Stuart Matthews still to score. But all here seem to agree that the supreme physical qualities that make Neil Adams a world champion at judo make him favourite here. Oh, and he's got him over. He got him over with a magnificent hip thrust. Given Wazari, not a perfect throw that would have scored hip on effectively a knockout straight away and now he's trying to keep Alksnin down on the floor for 25 seconds and if he can do that he'll win the bout already with the Wazari on the board Adams he's just got to keep his man pinned to the canvas for 25 seconds and there it is opponent number two defeated by this 21 year old engineer from London Neil Adams an Olympic silver medal for Neil Adams. And even though he went on to do even better in the World Championships where he took the gold, he's still very conscious of the famous Brian Jacks. That man's always putting pressure on me. Always. I found in the judo, obviously, I had a, you know, a lot to live up to. And um, uh, obviously, we're superstars now. We've got a lot to live up to. But um, that's good. I, I respond better under pressure anyway. So hopefully things will go well. If he is to follow in the footsteps of Brian Jacks, he'll be looking forward to this event, the weightlifting. As we see Stuart Matthews, the lightest man in the competition, just over 10 stone, attacking 80 kilograms on the bar. 176 and a quarter pounds, and he makes it well. The new weightlifting formula this year, where the bar is taken from the rack, with or without help, and he manages that very well. <laughs> all eyeing one another as the competition really gets underway. Neil Adams, 85 kilos. Neil Adams comes out, 85 kilograms, 187 and a quarter pounds. That's the equivalent of a 13 stone five and a quarter man. Oscar State very much in command. Look at this blue-eyed, innocent boy with his short back and size. He doesn't look the lethal killer that he is in judo, does he? But boy, is he tough. And he's a very competent weightlifter as well. 9.1 above body weight for Neil Adams. Mike Slemon, 85 kilos. Mike Slemon coming out. Protecting his back with that belt. He's just one kilogram heavier than Neil Adams, which means that he would have to outlift him by 2.5 kilograms. Because that's the increment by which the bar is increased. Mike Slemon. Gets it up well too, locks that elbow, no problem. Tough physical education teacher from Crosby near Liverpool. Good soccer and cricket player too. Alton Bird next. Alton Bird, 85 kilos. Well, this little dynamo weighs just about 11 stone. This would give him the lead plus 15.8 kilograms if he makes it. 85 kilograms for Alton Bird. He's a gutsy character, no real trained weightlifting technique, but he just goes for it. Not quite. Oh, no. No lift. And he's going to have to settle for plus 10.8. That's a score of 10.8 kilograms over body weight for Alton Bird, just a little bit short on technique. When the bar moved on to over 90 kilograms, the situation was that uh, Stuart Matthews was out, Alton Bird was out, Tony Doyle was out, Paul Dickinson still has to lift. Neil Adams, 92 and a half kilos. Now both Mike Slevin and Neil Adams are closing the gap on Stuart Matthews, up there on plus 15.2 kilograms, and if Neil Adams can get this, he goes into the lead. Gets it Take with it. ease, Good smacks man. it up with great confidence. Neil Adams, looking good for points here. Mike Slemon, 92 and a half kilos. Now Mike Slemon, always behind Neil Adams, of course, by one kilogram on body weight. PE teacher at Merchant Taylor School in Crosby. Started his career as a soccer and cricket player. When he got to St. Luke's, they insisted he took up rugby, and they've done well by him. Take it. No lift. Well, out it goes, but 90 kilograms was a lifetime best for Mike Slemon. 
plus 13.1 his score. So the order now, Adams, Matthews, Slemon, as Paul Dickinson comes into the competition. Bar at 100 kilograms, 220 and a quarter pounds. Paul Dickinson, 100 kilos. Paul comes out, weighing a little over 15 stone, which is pretty light by hammer throwing standards. And this lift of 100 kilograms would only give him plus 3.7. 3.7 above body weight. Now he's lifted a great deal more, but he's nursing a bad wrist. And to beat Neil Adams, he needs 22.5 kilograms more than Adams. And that's an awful lot. Five times the All England Schools champion at Hammer, Paul Dickinson. A unique record. Snaps that up. Good technique. See him just drop his body weight a little, extend the arms, and go for it boldly. So a competition still in progress. Neil Adams out next. Neil Adams, 100 kilos. Paul that knows he's got some opposition here. About body weight. Neil Adams engaged to our golden girl of British swimming, Sharon Davis. Incidentally, to match Daley Thompson's superstar's record of 38.7 kilograms, he would have to lift 115 kilos, but he makes that, and I think he's going to put the weightlifting beyond reach of Paul Dickinson with that. 100 kilograms plus 24.1 for Neil Adams, and he's looking more and more confident as the competition goes on. And the leaderboard shows that Paul Dickinson has got to find another 10 kilograms to get third place. Way down there on plus 3.7. And he needs a good deal more to get ahead of Stuart Matthews. Now, used to teach PE at nearby Dr. Challoner's Grammar School at Amersham, now manager of the Coram Sports Centre at Hemel Hempstead. Snaps it up, gets that third place, but the wrist is obviously a problem and one that he's going to have to retire on because Adams takes the weightlifting on plus 24.1. Stuart Matthews holds on to second place. Paul Dickinson has fought his way to third place there and that's 10 very valuable points to Neil Adams. And with that second win, Neil Adams stays on top. He's widened the gap a little. Paul Dickinson has got clear of Mike's.